Hello again to all you menders out there and uh, thanks I've been overwhelmed by the pictures of things that you've mended after after watching my my first show in the series the series that comes of course after spend it with Glenn when I took a housewife out on a shopping spree and run her credit card up to the max and penned it with Glenn where I uh, showed someone how to write their autobiography so here we are mend it with Glenn too and I've got this beautiful thing here well I'm told it's beautiful because uh, the woman that um, sent it to me Susan Sucks from Siren Sester she uh, she was given this by her late mum when she was 21 years old bit of an odd present I don't know maybe her mum didn't like her or something but there we go, and she's saying, look at all these marks. She doesn't want to see these marks. You see the marks there? Little chips. Little chips. She doesn't want them. So I've got a couple of ideas how to, to do this. Anyway, because it's a heirloom, and I want to do uh, the best possible job for her. So uh, there we go. Just put it there. Nice and, uh, nice and safe. When you're mending something, make sure you don't put it on the on the edge, because uh, not a problem. To be fair, I can still mend it, but um, yeah. So, got to put an arm, and uh, don't know where the don't know where the hand is. Oh, I've just spotted the hand. Excuse me a minute, folks. I thought it was a hand. It turns out it's a bit of arm. Let me see where it goes. Yeah. So, oh, what's this? Oh, no, it's not a bit of hand. It's just something. Hands by the side. Like that. No, like that. Okay. I think we can, uh, I think we can, we can do something. Uh, what I'm going to do first of all is get a bit of Gorilla Tape. You won't even... Look at that. Look at that. I was always good at jigsaws. When I wasn't mending things, I was doing jigsaws and uh, absolutely cracking, that is. So, get a bit of Gorilla Tape. Just balance her on there like that. Don't, don't try to balance in at home. You've got to really, well, perfect your balancing over years and years of mending things. I don't know, scissors with me, however. Right, I know what we'll do. I know what we'll do. I don't think, I don't think it's damaged it that much more, to be fair. Um, I'll leave her there. I need a big bit of tape. I don't know what, I don't know what happened there. Some glassy ceramic bits over there so I'm gonna just put that on there like that in fact you know what I'm not I'm gonna put it further up there like that and and put it over like that there we go and uh, just see if that'll have to bite it got no scissors with me Always make sure you've got scissors with you. What I'm going to do, just to give it that little bit more security, is put some sellotape around around the tape. There's some more up there as well. There we go. That's perfect. Now, where's the arm go? I think that's the arm. A bit of sellotape in the way, don't worry about that though. Well, yeah, that's the arm, I think, don't you? I think that's the arm. A little bit of tape there. You tell you what, you're not even going to notice this. That tape tastes horrible, by the way. Um, but I suppose you're probably being poisoned by the water you drink and GM foods anyway, so 
What's a little bit of Gorilla tape before you die? I'll put that there, like that. And uh, get some of this brown tape. I normally do parcels up with this. This is what I send, it's what I use to send the parcels back to people with once they're, once they're mended. So, that's got to get kept on there. So we'll just put that in there, like that. And uh, stick that round there, like that. Yeah, there's our arm. Oh, and then look, matches, matches perfect with her hand. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm relatively pleased with that. Obviously, I would have preferred not to break it in the first place, but I'm, I'm relatively pleased with that. Now, where's this arm go? There we go. That's almost a perfect fit. Almost. So, a bit more of this. A bit more of this. Yeah, this is great stuff. I, I don't know. I don't know where I'd be if it wasn't for a gorilla tape. I don't know where I'd be. So let's uh, let's just stick that on. How did I have it on? Well, no. I think I found I found a different way. No, I haven't. There you go. That's almost that's almost as it came off. Do you get as much satisfaction out of mending things as as I do? Because when you when you sit back after, you don't realise, you know, it's sort of like art, isn't it? You don't realise when you're actually mending, you don't realise the enormity of what you're achieving. There you go. Now I've got to hold her head. Well, I put that piece of tape on. I'm going to put it there, and I'll tell you for why. Because this needs supporting really, really well, and I'm going to put. A piece of tape there as well. I'm going to push it across, just across the face there. You can still see the face. You know, even with that support, there's the face. She's not gonna. She's not gonna know it was broken. And I've got this piece here. I don't know where that hand went. Maybe she won't notice. Maybe she thinks it never had a hand in the first place. Oh, there we go. There we go. Of course, look, look. In there, that's where the hand is. The hand never fell off. What a plonker I am. I was worrying over nothing. Look, look at that. Oh, just when I think I've peaked, I go up and have a couple of gears. You notice that? So we put. We, I think we'll just put color tape on that so that. So that you don't notice. Oh, that is that is nice. I think I put a bit of sellotape there as well. There is a there is this bit here. Got a little piece like that. I think it's at the bottom of the hand. Do you know what? I'm going to stick that on the bottom of the hand anyway, just in case. I think I'm pretty sure. But it is 90% sure anyway. I don't see where else it can go really. Whew. Now, now we can start on. The reason it was actually sent to me and these marks around here and uh, I mean someone's already gone over those I don't know if you can see them someone's already gone over those with the same colored ink they probably use one of them felt tip pens and it's not worked so I think the best thing I can do really because she did say in a email she did she thought they were ugly she didn't want to see them anymore so i think the best thing i can do is just 
cover them up with some tape. Is that all of them covered? Yeah, I think it is. We're getting there. Yeah. Can't see any of those. Can't see any of those little uh, chippings. No harm done after all, was there? Okay, so if you think you would have done things differently, let me know because we're always learning. It's a learning exercise. I mended my first thing years ago. I must have been five or six. I I, I mended my granddad's um, my granddad's armchair, and uh, yeah, he, he liked his new armchair anyway. So just no no harm done with the old one. Okay, so there we go. If something's sentimental value, make sure when you send it to me, you really wrap it well and you put it in loads of bubble wrap because I wouldn't want anything happening to it. Okay, I bet she's watching this now, and I bet she's, I bet there's tears in her eyes. Thanks for watching Mend It with Glenn. Anything else you want mended, just contact me. You too could have something like this. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and throw a like. Bye for now.